TRT is the state broadcaster, Terete. In one month leading up to the election, Erdogan had 32 hours of coverage. Kılıçdaroğlu, who is the opposition leader, 32 minutes. George W. Bush is a puppet. Trump is a puppet, ultimately. Erdogan, Vladimir Putin, and the like, they operate on their own speed. I could not believe the vote ratio of Erdogan from the earthquake affected area. Mind boggling. <laughs> yeah. Do you believe the results to be legit? Yes. Yeah. Turkish elections are not fair, but I guess technically, quote unquote, free. A lot more free than you would expect them to be. In the sense that, like, the votes are real. There's some fuckery every now and then. But the votes are, the votes are real. Everyone will tell you that. Whereas it's not fair at all in the sense that, you know, the opposition will go to jail <laughs> or uh, Erdogan will do a gigantic fucking news conference where he does like a like a town hall by himself on every fucking platform two nights before the the election. Like the media is overwhelmingly pro Erdogan. They have to be, but they also are pieces of shit, too. So it's not exactly fair in that sense. Like here, this is the state broadcaster. OK. TRT is the state broadcaster, TRT. In one month leading up to the election, <laughs> Erdogan had 32 hours of coverage. Kılıçdaroğlu, who is the opposition leader, 32 minutes, okay? Like, it's fucking ridiculous. And that's just the state broadcaster. You would say, oh, of course that's going to be that way. You know what I mean? Of course that's going to, you know, this it's the state broadcasters doing state propaganda. It's like, yeah, except the entirety of, like, uh, privately owned uh, news media is also pro Erdogan. They own everything. Do JP not have money? Brother, it doesn't work that way. In Turkey, whoever is the leader, okay, whoever is, like, the party, will basically put his own cadre of, like, uh, like aristocrats in positions of power and offer them a tremendous amount of favorable contracts and give them a, a shitload of money. It's the same in most countries. The only difference is that in America, both parties basically are abiding by the exact same masters, capitalism. So there's no like, uh, you know, any kind of like ideological difference there. And in America, in Turkey, you could say that the ideological difference is not that severe either. But it's certainly a little bit more, uh, it's, it's a little different than uh, America in the sense that like, Civil liberties uh, do get pretty aggressively rolled back over the course of like a 20 year uh, regime where uh, Erdogan has been able to also successfully manipulate the public into uh, voting for a referendum and change the constitution of the Turkey from a parliamentary system to a presidential one. You know what I mean? Like, I know. He got 70 to 79% of all votes from the areas impacted by the earthquake. Great infographic on Erdogan's patronage system and media empire. Oh, this is really good. Yep. You have holding groups and holding groups that also have like literally uh, companies that are involved in uh, construction. All that come back to like one fucking rich family, right? It's like a J-ball system almost. They also own their own media giants. They also own their own media empires. And every single one of them is pro Erdogan, like uh, aggressively so. So it's an oligarchy. Yeah, but okay. So it's a little bit different. Okay. It's a little bit different. Okay. Let me explain to you like how countries outside of like the Western, uh, the, the Western sphere of influence and power operate. In the Western sphere of influence and power, no matter what the government is, it's just, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's usually going to be, uh, you know, a lifeless, faceless, pro-corporate structure, no matter what happens, right? And both, like, ideologically speaking, everyone's a neoliberal, everyone's eating good, right? It doesn't matter if the Republicans are in power, it doesn't matter if the Democrats are in power. But of course, the, the Republicans will, like, fuck stuff up and, uh, I, I don't know, like, promote culture war issues, wedge issues, things of, like things of that nature, right? In, in a country like Turkey, however, there are actually winners and losers, right? Like in the corporate structure, obviously corporations are still king. Obviously there's a lot of, you know, uh, capitalism where um, regardless of the system of governance, there are ideological differences between a uh, certain party leadership. Uh, but more importantly than that, when they come into power, they basically use the entire government coffers 
uh, to their advantage. Like they use the treasury like it's their own personal purse, um, you know, greatly beefing up their own wealth and also solidifying their system of support by bringing up other wealthy people or other business owners into uh, this this increasingly more monopolized uh, uh, system of of uh, both sphere of influence and also a uh, way of you know producing commodities. So it works a little bit uh, in the opposite direction. So like when when Erdogan won originally, like he brought his own people, people that are ideologically motivated to to be on his side into positions of prominence and gave them incredible contracts, gave them favorable contracts, deregulated specifically, and also even bullied uh, the, the uh, competing uh, companies in that industry, bullied them out of the fucking, uh, you know, bu- bullied them out of the marketplace, basically made it untenable for them to not be pro out of the So of course, all, all of the, uh, all of the oligarchs in Turkey were brought to heel. They all became pro out and in that process, like, yeah, like the mafia, he's also getting a cut from the contracts. He's putting his, you know, children also in positions of power in these companies in the, inside of this corporate structure. That's basically how that works in Turkey. It's a little bit different than America in that regard, where it's more transparent. It's more corrupt openly. You know what I mean? Whereas like corruption is built into the system in the United States of America. I always use this example where bribery in uh, Pakistan is, is is seen as like this barbaric tradition, right? Whereas we have something very different here in the West. We have corporate lobbying. Corporate lobbying is regulated, it's legal, and therefore it's somehow different than bribery. It's not. It's not different than bribery. It's the same shit. We just have a different name for it. And uh, we like to act like here in the West that we are above that kind of thing when we're absolutely not above that kind of thing. And in countries that are not as developed or not inside of the Western, not directly inside of the Western sphere of influence, you see that kind of open corruption, whether it be Latin American countries, whether it be Turkey, whether it be fucking, you know, uh, countries in the East. There are uh, very similar structures that are somehow very different, okay, in the way that it, in the way that it operates. Is Erdogan one of the richest people in Turkey like Putin is in Russia? Yes. Erdogan and Putin and people like that are actually way wealthier than, like, the fucking billionaires that uh, you see on the Forbes list, okay? But yes, of course they are. They are insane. Dude, they they have the entire country's uh, treasury, the entire country's purse as their own personal purse, okay? That, that level of wealth and power is unimaginable. No, not like Trump. Trump is, brother... If you think Trump is anywhere near as fucking wealthy as Erdogan or or Putin, you're delusional. Trump, does he even have five million dollars to pay E.G. and Carol? Like, I don't think Trump has shit. Trump is a fucking broke boy, dude. These people are the real fucking power brokers and the and the real uh, wealthy people. Not only the Turkish media, but also regionally many Eastern news, such as Al Jazeera's coverage, has been pretty pro Erdogan. Listen, um, there's a reason for that because Erdogan has already like very effectively placed himself at the helm for all of these years. So for many people in the region, especially like uh, their media is effectively controlled by their uh, own state interests as well. Um, they see him as like an Islamist. They see him as, uh, especially on his foreign policy, they see him as like, uh, like anti-Western imperialist. Now, that's not true, obviously, but it doesn't fucking matter. And ultimately, a lot of people want to uh, vote against him because domestically, he's a fucking gigantic, corrupt, monstrous piece of shit who is actually also very uh, religiously repressive. He's awful. People, I, I used to compare uh, Trump to Erdogan in the sense that, like, Trump was a, a uh, you know, wannabe Erdogan. Erdogan is the archetype. You know, Vladimir Putin and Erdogan are, are very similar to one another in many respects. There's not really much you can do to, to take these guys down. You know what I mean? If you put Trump instead of Erdogan, the result would be the same probably. I mean, the thing is, Erdogan has a shitload more power and a shitload more leeway, probably a lot smarter than Donald Trump too. You don't speak about people like Vladimir Putin or Erdogan in the same terms that you do about like the comically stupid fucking American presidents. Like George W. Bush is a puppet. Trump is a puppet ultimately, right? He, he had some tendencies that leaned away from like, uh, you know, corporate masters and whatever the f- they wanted uh, him to do. But like Erdogan 
Vladimir Putin and the like, they operate on their own speed. Erdogan got huge support even in earthquake cities. Erdogan got huge support, especially in the uh, area struck by the earthquake, my friend. He got 70 to 79% support in areas that were directly, like hundreds, 100,000 people were fucking murdered because of the Erdogan regime and their consistent deregulation as they offered fat fucking contracts to their friends who were contractors, right? Who were like pro Erdogan contractors as they refused to regulate these areas. These people lied to the public when they built these fucking houses and they butchered them. They butchered uh, hundreds of thousands of people. And then the surviving people, they licked their fucking wounds, okay? They looked around uh, and, and they mourned the losses of their friends and then they fucking turned around and voted for Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Like 79%, man. You will never understand that. This is why I always would say... One part, one aspect that's oftentimes not talked about in a country like Turkey is that Recep Tayyip Erdogan is more popular than American presidents are in America, okay? Like, that's something you got to remember. Like, this motherfucker, for all of his, like, horrifying nonsense and all of his fuckery in the media, has still been able to captivate 51% of the population consistently, whether it be a coalition that he builds with the Nationalist Party or not, Ultimately, he's been able to do this for like two decades, almost three decades now. And people don't understand it. The economy is so bad, but people still vote for Erdogan for them. So it does not even matter. Yeah, because he's like, he's like a cultist, dude. It's like Trump supporters. Trump could literally be like, I hate all of you. I hope you fucking die in, in Alabama and they will still vote for him. Okay. They're like, that's my leader. I love him. And the worst thing that could have fucking happened, and I will never forgive America for this was the coup d'etat that occurred in Turkey. Because this result, this time around, this election cycle would have been an actual dub. Because this current result that you saw where he's like, uh, this is the lowest uh, he's ever had in popularity, not making it, to the, not making it through the fucking first round, of the election going to a runoff. This result would have been uh, the, the, the result last time around. But then the fucking coup happened. And when the coup happened, he solidified his support so much so that he was able to put a referendum together and in 2018 change the fucking constitution of the country from a parliamentary structure to a fucking a presidential one. So it's more of a cult than fear vote? Yeah, no, it is. It is a cult vote.